Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to use those beautiful themes with Ada64. All right, so first you want to go to Ada64's website, download their software, install it, and once you have that all installed on your PC, you're going to click on it, open it, and be greeted with this home screen here. And from here, to get things started, you want to go to File, Preferences, and once the Preferences dialog box pops up here, you want to come down to this side here and pick Sensor Panel. Now on the Sensor Panel screen here, you want to change the Sensor Panel size. Mine is 515 by 1920. Yours should be the same or very close. Uh, these themes are meant for the 12.6 inch display. So once you have that change, you're gonna hit apply and then hit okay. Once that is done, your sensor panel, blink sensor panel should pop up. It may have some pre-installed gauges on it or whatnot. We're not gonna worry about that at this point. Once you're here, you're gonna right click on that blink sensor panel and then hit sensor panel manager. So you hit sensor panel manager here. And from here, you're gonna to go to import hit import and then you're going to find that file where you downloaded all those themes and in that folder you should see a file like this one here it's going to have a blank paper icon and it's going to say gray sensor panel once you have that highlight it click open and there you go voila you got your sensor panel ready to go this one's already pre-installed with temp gauges um, clock speeds, date, time, um, everything you need, and you can also customize a lot of the parameters in this particular panel. This one is set in the gray and orange colorway, but to change it to another theme, just highlight the gray sensor panel here, go down here to modify. Once you're here, you're going to make sure this is set to image. And this should be displayed in the preview window here. And then you should want to go to these three dots here. And again, you're going to find that folder where you have those templates at, where you found the last one. And you're just going to grab one that you like, um, whatever you feel that day. So I like this one. And we're just going to hit open. And once you hit open, just hit OK. And there you go. You have a new custom background for your sensor panel. And you go as far as customizing these as well too. So if you want to change the color, you can by just clicking on uh, the parameter that you want. So if you want a clock, you want to change that to, you know, you want to change all these to like a purplish color, pink color, or blue color. You can just click on that one and then hit modify again. And then it's all down here. You can change that color to any color that you please. You can also change the font text size with you can change this to something different if you like if you want to use one of these other features here in ida 64. now this was just an overview of how to change your themes for the ones that you had already downloaded if you want to go further in depth and detail um, there's plenty of other videos out there or i may put up something soon that gets further in depth in ada 64. otherwise enjoy your beautiful themes and thanks for watching